All right, our chef calls this side dish a leftover dream come true. Listen to, the, to these ingredients. Day-old pasta, last night's meat and veggies. Day-old rice. Yeah, oh, rice. Day-old yeah. rice, I'm sorry. Day-old rice, I'm just thinking pasta. You could probably <laughs> do pasta, that would be fun. Okay, well here, yeah, another, another option. There we We've go. got wonderful Lindsay Joy Smith's approach on fried rice. Okay, now should something this simple really look that good because this yes. is all about simplicity. Yes, yeah. so this is like when people are like, oh, I love going to those Chinese restaurants and getting uh, fried rice. There's a little bit of like, okay, I mean, it's kind of like saying I like to get toast somewhere <laughs> because it's not that hard. It's really very simple. There's a few important elements to fried rice and they're easy to master. First of all, cold rice, daled rice. And if you don't have daled rice, that's okay. You're still a good person. What you need to do is just make your rice and the weather is on our side right now this time of year. Just put it outside on like a baking tray, kind of spread out a bit. Because it's so cold out, in 20 minutes, it'll be as if it's day-old rice. Wow, that's so, because day-old rice is one of those hard things typically to cook with because right. it seems to dry out. And that's so exactly what we're hoping for. We want the dry, dry rice. Right, so another thing to making good fried rice, you want to have your ingredients ready to go. So okay. right now I've got carrots and um, scallions cooking up in here. And what? how much of a carrot is that? Like so a this is another carrot? happy thing about ham fried rice. I used about a carrot, I used about three scallions, but you can't really screw it up. It's like stone soup, yeah. where you just throw in what you have, and if you like the individual ingredients, you're gonna like the end so product. So if you don't like as much carrot, you just don't add as Use much carrot. Use less carrot, right. So we've got right here, so these are gonna cook up a bit, and okay. while that's going on, we're gonna make um, some eggs, and it's almost like you make an omelet for this. So I've got my butter in there, it's foaming, so it's almost ready. I've got three eggs, we're just gonna whip those up. Scramble them a bit. Um, eggs don't taste good without salt still, so we're just gonna put a little salt, season that guy up. Kay. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit, and um, we're gonna cook this up. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'll pour so that in there. So we're just pouring the whole yeah, thing Haley, in there. Yeah, do you wanna just tend yes. to this? Just tend it. If I burn it, it it's not my fault. That's okay, okay. I'll take the heat for it. Okay. But only this time. Okay, okay, I get a, a one pass on this. So I've got that in there. And the way you do like an omelet for this is you're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Funny, this is a fast meal. It takes about 20 minutes, but it requires just a little bit of patience in certain areas. And doesn't it seem so so many nights during the week you only have it, you're like, oh, I forgot to prepare dinner tonight. Right. And this is that perfect well, I, way to quickly whip something up. Well, I've got mushrooms that I fried up that were just hanging out in the fridge. I'm like, oh, that would be good in my fried rice. Okay, let me grab that guy okay. real quick. I'm gonna take this, bang that off, and you'll see this is getting warm. And I've got butter in there. You know when to add something if the butter starts to foam. If you're cooking with butter, the butter will foam up and say, I am ready for you. Because it's what you're trying to achieve with this, that kind of like, you're going to chop it up, but layer. it's going really that flat, mm -hmm. egg, cooked And egg once again, feel. you can't really screw this up as long as the egg is cooked. Because I've done this before where I will actually throw in like a raw egg to the really hot um, fried rice just mm -hmm. as it's about to finish. And we'll do that. So my pan is a little bit... I want it to heat up a bit. It's not making me happy. There we go. I'm loving the technique on this. This is giving right. me a lot of insight. So on. if it were a wee bit warmer. Now my question is, yeah. if say you made a bunch of eggs the day before mm -hmm. and they're just in your fridge, no one wants to eat them that next morning for breakfast, could you throw you your scrambled You should totally egg? throw it in there. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely, this is a really good recipe for leftovers. Okay, so here we go. We're getting a little more full like that. So you can see that. And I can, as you can see, once the pan is a little bit warmer, I can lift up the edge and pour some of the runny stuff in there. Okay. And that is what we're wanting to do. Okay, and now some of the other ingredients that go into this, right, some so people might not have in their pantry. They might, but they, they might not, but they might. So like, okay. it's, so we've got, um, why don't we throw in about half of those peas. So those are okay. just frozen peas that have been thawed. We'll chuck those guys in there. Good, we've got um, some ham that I've sliced up. Cubed. You can check that in there as well. Good. And that could be your leftover yes. uh, mm -hmm. Christmas ham. Right, and so now I'm gonna take my uh, omelet right here, my egg omelet, flip that guy over, let that cook up a little bit more. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna get my sauce ready. And what we have here is a couple tablespoons of soy sauce, 
This is oyster sauce, and this is to taste one of, like. And those might be right. one of the things you might not have. Where right do people have find that in the store? So it, I just found it in the regular grocery store in the Oriental section. Okay. Right by the soy sauce. So oyster sauce right in there. And then I'm gonna put a pinch of Chinese five spice because I can. Okay. And that's just some cinnamon, this cloves, is kind of throw in ginger. whatever you want. Right, right. So this is just one of my favorites. So we've got this. This is ready to go. Okay. But I'm gonna let it cool because it would be hard to cut if it were warm like that. So I'm gonna let it cool. In the meantime, just like what we're talking about, I have leftover eggs from yesterday. So let's chuck those in there. Okay. Perfect. And now we're gonna throw in about two cups of cold rice. And you can see the it's cold, not quite dried as sticky. Out rice. Right. So I'll get that guy in there. And, and once then again, once that's I'm, all in, I'm how long do you let it cook? Um, you're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes. So this is where the patience comes in. Okay. Is because their temptation is to get this in and we want to stir it right away. And we will stir it to get this incorporated, but then we let it sit because we're frying the bottom of it. That's the beauty of fried rice. Okay. It's that crispy bit on the bottom. So see how good this looks already? And we have basically done not that much, and but it's gonna taste watering. incredible. Okay, and so then the fast, final so product. Easy is what we're seeing over there. You can dish it up for your kids. I like that you put the little edamame with it on the side. Absolutely, we had that for dinner last night. My kids were like, more, mom, more. And okay, and now you guys, you have a great website. You have cooking classes. Sure. Um, Where can people get so information the for the these fun recipes? Com now is the time to book a cooking class for um, like your teens that are headed off on missions for their church or going away to college. Um, I do classes with groups for friends because sometimes teens aren't, um, super excited to go meet a bunch of strangers to learn to cook <laughs> from this crazy lady their mom knows the chipper chef but if they're going with their friends they're gonna love it and they learn what to buy how to properly pick out vegetables how and to make omelets I mean some it's of these really meals good are stuff. great for college students to learn how to right. have a quick easy meal we love these these uh, great ideas thank you so much for being with us and again go on over to the chipper chef website to get more information